Welcome back to another redstone tutorial on this YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to build this automatic jukebox or you can kind of even call it a radio. So if we flick this lever, music should start playing as you hear. And to skip a song, you only click the jukebox once and put the disc back in here. And we can turn it off again and then we can skip and our disc went flying. But if you build this in the house, the disc will not fall into the void. So if you want to add any additional music discs, you can throw them in this barrel. Or even if you want to skip a song, just put it back into this barrel. And this is the on and off switch. But for now, let's get into the tutorial. These are the materials you're gonna need. First of all, a jukebox, then any solid block, and two observers, a note block, two hoppers, a dropper, and make sure that it is a dropper and not a dispenser. Then additionally a lever as well as a barrel and that's everything. So we're gonna start by having a jukebox placed right here Then we're gonna go down two blocks just like so and place a dropper facing upwards and break all of the temporary blocks. Next we're gonna take a hopper and make it face into the jukebox then another hopper face into the dropper and from this side we're gonna place an additional dropper a hopper, excuse me. Then we're just gonna place a barrel facing this side or really any side but this just looks the best in my opinion. Then we're gonna take an observer output from this hopper right here into a full block, into a node block, back into another observer and then we only need to place in a lever and now it should be turned off. So if you flick the lever, so if the lever is flicked on it is off and if the lever is flicked off it is on. Now you just need some music discs, put them into this barrel and if we click this we should see it playing. Now if we take out the disc which you should then pick up you can see it stops playing as soon or you could just let the song play out until it's done and put the music discs back in here. If the song is finished running it will automatically get sucked into this hopper and back into the dropper so you don't need to remove the disc every time that the song is finished it will do it automatically only if you want to skip a song you should always have to put it back into this barrel and that's already it for this video if this helped you out or if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe to this channel so that i can make more content like this but that's it for me guys and i'll catch you guys in the next video